morning at uh, Mount Deer Hotel. That's bloody high tide. Pilliga National Park. How damn good it is. Here at uh, Mount Dow Hotel, about to grab some diesel. Uh, welcome to Mount Dare. So uh, this is where it all happens and for fuel on the western side of the Simpson Desert in far north South Australia. We're only about 15, 15 k's from the Northern Territory border and it's just an awesome place to be if you like flies. So yeah, best tucker in South Australia at, at Mount Dare. So welcome. Oh, good man. The scotch fillets are just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you have to add an F Tech sticker to the fuel pump. Just leaving uh, Mount Dare now and heading along the bins track, heading to Alice. You still want to be at the rear tone? Yeah, mate, on that yuppie. So we're just on our way to Fink. I uh, got 32 k's to Fink, and then we're going to head up to Alice. But uh, some of these roads out here are the exact reason why you need to do this in a Ranger Raptor. These roads have been absolutely awesome. Um, been recently graded. Some are pretty bad from the rain that they've had, but when you get into some of the windy, sandy stuff. That's, that's part of the reason why I think I'm going to buy the next generation Raptor to uh, come back and do this trip again with Trev. <laughs> Try and see if we can't drum up a, a whole crew of Ranger Raptors to uh, yeah, come and do this trip. I think it would be absolutely awesome. that motor on the fence. Going back onto the Stewart Highway now, from come from Fink, and um, yeah, gonna head to Alice now. Got fueled up, full of def, um, diesel fluid. Just trekked over the truck, pumped up the tyres again. We're all uh, ready to roll up to Alice. Alice got uh, 248 k's on the Stewart Highway at the moment. Jeep's leading. 
and the Troopy F250 and Ranger Raptor is behind me. So there's been a couple of rumours going around everywhere we're stopping that uh, there was close to a hundred vehicles actually leaving uh, Birdsville heading across the desert and they actually shut it down because a lot of people were, were, didn't have UHFs, didn't have flags and it was causing a lot of, lot of track damage so not too sure if that's the truth it's just that's the rumours that we've been hearing as we've been stopping Mount, De Mount Dare um, and then just as we got back out here on the Stewart a lot of people were saying that um, yeah that the track's been shut so well I guess we'll find out um, if it actually did get shut when we get to uh, Alice but uh, if it did then we uh, we only just made it so so since Fink was cancelled last year there is a lot of people uh, heading to come and watch the race so it's, I think it's going to be quite packed this year I think this will be if not their biggest year there's so many people in the four wheel drive industry that I know um, that are actually coming to watch so should be really good should be able to uh, meet up with a, a, a lot of new people and a lot of people in the industry that I haven't met before so that should be good and yeah looking forward to a, a really good next kind of seven days um, up here at Fink we are going up to a bit F truck's coming in hot, mate. Just set up here on the side of the Fink track. Uh, we come in late last night and just uh, went and did our groceries and stuff and then parked up. So it's uh, Wednesday afternoon at the moment. We got into Alice yesterday afternoon and we just um, found somewhere out here in the desert to uh, to camp for the night. We spent the day today just cruising around town, went to ARB, went to um, a couple of other camping stores here in Alice just to check out some of the stuff that they've got. We're um, on the track, just here at Fink, so we're just camping outside near the airport. So it's my first time out here, I haven't been out here before, but I've been out to Alice and stuff, but not to actually watch Fink, so epic sunset. We've just got the fire going and just going to make, um, make some dinner and chill out for the afternoon and yeah. Right, we're here at Fink, down here with Method Race Wheels, Team Taylor. Race Wheels Australia, so let's go check it out. We're gonna go and see Scrutineering. Check it out, these awesome machines. Boys are gonna do some uh, live streaming. Check out the dish on the roof. How sick is that?
Freeze. Brain freeze. Don't say it. Down past the airport, about 8k down on the side of the track. Yep. So, there you are, these ones are the best stuff in the world. Yeah, yeah. good on you. And, uh, here's your stuff, you have a little bit of trouble. Oh, good on you. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. cool crisp morning down here on the track racing's about to kick off it is sunday first day of racing is going to be absolutely awesome i can't wait to see these trucks start coming through here so yeah the best get off the track here we go we can hear toby right now he's first to come through the pack you can hear his truck out in the distance this is going to be good all right i can hear the chopper in the background <laughs> Truck screaming its tits off. Here she comes. He's ready. Send I cab of that truck. <laughs> the cab of that truck don't move, just everything else underneath it does. It's fucking insane. Unfortunately, this is just the reality of off-road racing. Got the Can-Am down, smashed the front wheels, smashed the front A-arm, and has pretty much caved the whole side of the uh, the roll cage in, hit this tree. So, 
not a good start for a 642, but it's just the way it goes, I guess. I'm glad they're okay. It's really all that matters. Righto, it's Monday morning. We're just on the uh, track at the moment. Just waiting for uh, Toby to come through, first one. So, got a little bit of rain last night, so the conditions on the track are really good at the moment. As you can see, it's uh, a nice, probably three, three inches of uh, wet material on top now, so should make for a good day. Hopefully the suppresses the dust for a few hours for these boys. So. Yesterday was pretty bad. We had an accident just up from us here, uh, just on that, that hairpin, just up there. So, And then once that whole corner through that section was so dusty that the trucks couldn't see, so we were waving them down and letting them know there was an accident and stuff. But um, yeah, pretty excited for today. So get the first few trucks through and take some good photos and get some video. It's gonna be sick. But just on the... Uh Tats Instagram. Just checking the update for this morning. And the top three have made it past Mount Squires, so they're on their way. That chopper's low. Here comes Toby. Here he comes. Next one might be far behind. Oh, that truck sounds so sick. Here comes the buggy. Another truck will be coming next. So we've had the main guys come through, uh, starting to filter into some buggies and side by sides now. So we're going to watch the rest of the pack come through this this whoop section. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a pretty cool morning. Trucks are definitely going a lot faster today, especially with the dust uh, being suppressed up this end where we are. So it's been a pretty cool morning. 
So yesterday, um, just after I'd finished filming Toby and that coming through, it was probably about half an hour to an hour later, we got news that there was a really bad accident on the track and that the rest of the racing for the day will be suspended. Um, unfortunately, at this stage, from what I know, there was a 60-year-old uh, man killed, um, spectator, um, when a, I'm pretty sure it was a buggy, came off the track and... Um, yeah, another two two people injured um, from the reports that we're getting right now. So we stayed one more night here. The bikes were cancelled yesterday. So um, yeah, just thoughts and prayers for that family. Like, just motorsport is so dangerous, and when you've got just the general public on the side of a track with trucks doing 140 kilometres an hour, it's just it's um it's not a safe place to be. So you really need to. Um, assess where you're going to camp, where you're going to spectate from, so that way there's as there's, there's minimal chance of you getting injured as possible. So, and unfortunately this weekend I've seen a lot of people putting themselves in very dangerous positions. Um, but yeah, again, it's, um, it's the way it is and it, it's, it, it really sucks. So we, um, we stayed one more night. Um, we're going to head off now today. So it's now Tuesday, we're going to head south um, and see where we end up today. We're not too sure what route we're going to take back home. But, um, yeah, so again, thoughts and prayers with that family. Um, couldn't imagine what they're going through right now. It's going to be terrible. So just my advice, like I've been around racing my whole life and if you're going to come to Fink, just make sure that you camp well back from the track at least, at least 50, 50 metres to 100 metres um, where possible. Um, and then try and, when you're viewing from the track, try and get a, get a point where it's either straight section of track, um, where it's not gonna have a, a machine kind of either coming into a hairpin corner or something and could possibly blow through the corner. So just be very wary of where you're gonna spectate um, if you do come to think and watch it. Seldom gaze at the sunset, taking your beautiful colors. I often take for granted. Right, uh, so we just got off the highway, decided to uh, jump on the Unadatta track. So we're heading. I think we're heading east at the moment. I think the track kind of goes east, south, sort of, southeast. So, head along here for 200 k's and pull up for the night and yeah, keep heading south, back towards home. Take over me. <laughs> 